We have two voices in our heads that fight against each other each and every day. When you have work to do, when you have school work to do, when you have to go to the gym, when you have to get out of bed instead of snoozing the alarm. There's two voices, one that tells you to get up, to go to the gym, to start your deep work block. And there's one other, another one that says, no, it's comfortable in bed. I'm just going to stay here. There's one voice that's telling you when you get home from school to just relax and recover because you're tired. And there's another one that says, oh no, we've got our work to do. And each and every time you listen to the other voice, the one that tells you to not work hard, you lose a little bit of respect for yourself because you're not doing what conscious mind is really telling you to do because the voice that's telling you to not work hard, to not be disciplined, it isn't you. It isn't you. That's why it feels so shit. And it's why you're searching up how to be more disciplined and how to stop procrastinating because you're listening to the voice that isn't you. You don't feel good. The reason, this is the reason you don't feel good. Why you feel so shit all the time. You might think it's sleep, but yeah, of course, sleep contributes and diet contributes and exercise. But the main reason is because you're listening to a voice in your head that isn't you. The one that's convincing you to indulge in pleasure, to watch the porn, to play video games, to jack off. You're listening to that voice that's not you. That's why you feel so shit. You're doing all these activities that you really don't want to do, but instead you listen to the voice that's not you. If you start listening to the other voice that's telling you to work hard, that's do these things, the, the guy who always takes action, that's actually supposed to be you. Because in your subconscious mind, that's what you want to be. And that's who you are supposed to be. That is the key to freedom. Like Jocko Willick says, discipline is freedom. It's ironic because you're doing these activities. You're listening to that voice that's not you because you want to cover up the inevitable uncomfortability of doing these disciplined things. But in reality, it isn't, it isn't even uncomfortable. You're, you're, the voice that's not you is just over hyping the uncomfortability and how much discipline it's going to take and how hard the activity is going to be. It's over hyping. It's actually not that hard. And when you actually start being disciplined and doing the hard activities that the other voice is telling you to avoid those activities by covering it up with pleasure that temporarily covers up the fact that you're not taking action when you start listening to that voice you're actually more free than listening to the voice that's convincing you to indulge in pleasure listen to that other voice the voice that's the real you that's trying to get out and see how your life changes in a week of just you listening to the correct voice just remembering that that other voice isn't actually you it's almost like the devil trying to convince you to turn down the path of wrong. See what happens in a week when you just listen to the other voice, the voice that's actually you trying to get out the real you, and you start doing the activities that actually gets you closer to your goals. In reality, the other voice was overhyping it. You're actually starting to have fun now, aren't you? When you start taking action towards the things that matter, you have more fun than you have done in your entire life. The other voice overhypes it, overhypes how bad it is going to be. But instead, you feel more free. You feel so good in comparison to how you did when you were you eating the junk food and, you know, watching porn and stuff. Let yourself free, bro. Let yourself free by listening to who you actually are, the you that's trying to get out. Listen to that voice for a week and you'll feel so good at the end of that week. And you will you won't want to stop. You start to feel more happy, more fulfilled, more motivated than ever because now you have respect for yourself because now you're listening to the real you. Now you're listening to the voice that keeps telling you to work hard. And you're gonna feel so good, bro. So good. Start listening to that voice more and start becoming who you're actually supposed to be. Once you start listening to that voice that you've been that you've been covering up with the other voice and listening to that voice by indulging in instant gratification, when you stop listening to that and you start listening to the other and taking action, you're going to feel more free than you've ever done before. You're going to feel more motivated. You're going to feel more fulfilled than you've ever done before. This is the key to you being consistent. This is the key to you, to, to your happiness. It really is. As long as you just keep listening to that voice, you're gonna, you're probably gonna achieve everything you've ever wanted in life. If you want to put life that simple, it really is just listening to your inner voice, the one that you keep on quieting with the instant gratification, with watching YouTube shorts, with watching TikTok, with watching Netflix all the time, and instead doing what your mind is telling you to do. I hope this video helps you, bro. 
remember always ask yourself how you can get better i'll see you in the next one